Warning. Korea SkipNet Access Notification Date June 29, 2014 Poster Leader of Information Surveillance Team SCP Foundation General Affairs Office Will Hartman Internal Communications Officer Lee Chan Seal omitted Whatever your rank is, presumably over four since you made it here, it doesn't matter. Nor does it matter if you're here for citation or a regular checkup. You will regret this, so listen carefully to every word I say before it's too late. Leave this page, and don't look back. This is not a simple word of caution. If you ever have the audacity to read further, you will, and I repeat this, will regret it. If your remote reading page number counts higher than now, the Foundation Database Security Program will automatically track your location and immediately dispatch a response team, resulting in disciplinary measures from the motion to termination, depending on the circumstance. You may be wondering why I told you a response team will be sent. That's because, from the moment you decide to read this page further, you are presumed a threat to the Foundation's well-being. It's your choice, but you must be ready for the consequences you've wrought. You have been warned. Warning. Do not read past this page. I curse you. I curse you and despise you. I despise your high security rank and your unbefitting shallow curiosity. And I deplore at the destiny of the Foundation and the world you have doomed to quench that personal desire. Since things turned out this way, what's there to stop me? I'll tell you everything. If any chance the response team came already, ask them for some time, saying, I'm reading Will Hartman's message. They'll wait. As you already know, the modern man navigates among countless websites and hyperlinks. Let's see, it was 2006 or sometime near that. Oliver Lloyd, Oscar Steffen, and Lex McNeil, MIT's three aspiring prodigies, constructed a 3D model of hyperspace, similar to constructing a giant universe. While doing so, they discovered a pattern rather peculiar, a pattern about the correlation of the real world and the messages, comments shared online. I assume you're uninterested after seeing your fair share of all sorts of hideous SCP instances, saying, what is this, another one of those cyber-based reality-altering SCPs? I understand. I was like that. That's precisely why I'm having such a hassle. Anyways, the McNeil guy started an independent analysis of that pattern. The results were horrifying. The apparent patterns alone counted up to the thousands. When 10% of the 3D network model was complete, McNeil checked the web pages that fit this pattern. It looked like… McNeil originally named it the tree root effect, from its name. The tree root was rendering the world worse, more serious. Not all was known, but there was a statistically noticeable correlation. When the tree root reached a secret community of lowlives, sexual violence arrest rates of that country skyrocketed, starting from the next month. When it reached a website for an environmental protection group, the rainforest of Malaysia started to disappear. McNeil felt something strange, but he didn't alert his colleagues just yet. He wasn't sure about the correlation just yet. Then one day, post-grad student and Foundation agent Mikhail Sergeyevich Fedorov caught wind of the news. After meeting with McNeil, the two realized that the tree root was hiding the severity of the situation. To an inspiring biologist's eyes, the phenomenon looked like an amoeba or macrophage spreading about. He felt the need to make a model of this tree root, no, amoeba spreading. Mikhail instantly invited McNeil and his friends to the Foundation. I rambled on for too long. The response team would most likely be yawning behind you. Isn't that strange? Actually, they are my direct inferiors. Keep calm and carry on. This horrible amoeba, no, cybernetic macrophage, reaches its appendages to random websites. When someone sees a specific scroll of a website contaminated by SCP-056-KO, it leeches on their imagination and, possibly, strengthens itself. 
along with causing whatever it is written on the real world, to some extent. When it became clear that SCP-056-KO was behind multiple international events, it was given the Class Euclid. Now, you will realize, at least a bit, why I told you so desperately not to read the page. At first, the Foundation monitored creepypasta sites, SF author sites, horror novel contests, literature wikis, and other literature-related websites of schools or communities, shuddering at the fact that whenever the root reaches his hand on such pages, there is one more SCP that the Foundation needs to secure. However, the Foundation forgot to monitor SkipNet itself. Maybe, I don't know, there might have been a security breach, or SCP-056-KO is simply too strong for SkipNet to fight off. We've been backstabbed. Foundation researchers, wandering around countless and conjured up all sorts of imaginations while seeing these censored parts. Yes, I'd have to admit. We could be researchers, containment experts, or etc., but at the same time, we are authors who can imagine unspeakable things from censorship. Now the entire world is in danger, just because this thing gained access to SkipNet. It was immediately moved to Keter, and its security protocols on the system were altered to ban access of personnel lower than rank 4. That thing's now SCP-056-KO. Oh, I almost forgot. This wasn't number 56. Nor was it a KO. It just happens to be the page this thing put its hands on was SCP-056-KO, so it had to be readjusted. The original SCP-56 was given a new name, but in doing so, the guy in charge carelessly read the page and… no need to ramble on. Just another incident of the Foundation. The bastard would have devoured your imagination by now. The Foundation's best hacking programs and other resources attempted to attack but could not kick it off from SkipNet. You may have glanced over it, but the strange mark over there is the remnants of the you may have glanced over it, but the strange mark over there is the remnants of a battle of the Foundation and that thing, proving its influence. Even the anti cognito hatter prototype of the Foundation cannot fully mask its power. At least we were able to know a bit more about its physiology, one of which is personnel influenced by SCP-056-KO is predicted to experience a significant boost in imagination. Congratulations, sort of. And now, somewhere on this earth, innocent people are paying for your carelessness and shallow curiosity. I advise you to chew on your horrible imagination in the past and watch the news every day to check on how it materializes. And if you see the victims on the news, I hope you pray with all your might for them. Now, if you read up to this point, you're at the end of my message. Tell the response team the following sentence. Lucy in a madras dress wanted to taste Grandma's coconut soup again. In favor of your effort for reading my message, the response team will stand by and hand you an apology form. Fill this up and submit it to me in three days. You may rest easy now. Sincerely, Will Hartman Item number SCP-056-KO Object Class Euclid Keter Special Containment Protocols Emergency Revision Due to SkipNet Security Breach The statement below applies to all personnel of the SCP Foundation regardless of rank. Access and reports to this SCP entity, including this page, is strictly forbidden. Documents about SCP-056-KO are only to be distributed and viewed in written form. Access by personnel of rank 4 or above is to be prevented with Leader of Information Surveillance Team Will Hartman's urgent notice at the top of the page. Four additional shortened warnings may be added in case of the reader ignoring the warning, after which the response team under Will Hartman's direct command is dispatched, pinpointing and neutralizing the reader, and requests the motion on a case-by-case -case basis. If the reader ignores all warnings and is exposed to SCP-056-KO, Will Hartman's response team will take necessary action regardless of the reader's rank, including immediate termination in the worst possible scenario. 15th Revisal Notice 
despite Foundation hacking programs and various prototype anti-cognito-hazard weapons being used. SCP-056-KO does not seem to lose its influence on SkipNet. The latest test done on D-Class with enterograde amnesia also had negative results. Korea SkipNet Database Manager Deputy. Archived Containment Protocols A list of web pages affected by SCP-056-KO is kept to monitor the view count and accessing IP address. Foundation personnel are to disguise as college students conducting surveys and ask civilians who read the website about what possible dangers they can imagine. A rescue team is sent to the predicted location of disaster to minimize casualties. The page is to be shut down from the source level immediately after confirmation. When needed, collaboration with local culture or communication agencies can be executed. To minimize its exposure to civilians and better understand SCP-056-KO's physiology and build a model of its proliferation of influence, Mobile Task Force Yoda-100, A Better World, is organized. MTF Yoda-100 is composed of programmers and hackers dedicated to fight against SCP-056-KO. The unit explores attack routes by any means possible for potentially dangerous expansion of influence. In addition, the unit is to proceed with the establishment of cybernetic models and big data related to the activities of SCP-056-KO. SCP-056-KO is an entity believed to exist in cyberspace, which resembles an amoeba when visualized as a three-dimensional network of web pages and hyperlinks. Currently, there are thousands of confirmed web pages affected by SCP-056-KO, and the number of people exposed to SCP-056-KO is unknown. However, there is an optimistic theory that there are people unaffected by the anomaly in certain conditions. Animal testing did not yield any data, at least from species other than human. SCP-056-KO spreads its influence on a specific section of a website to infect it. People visually coming into contact with the page share their cognitive system with SCP-056-KO by means unknown, while copying of extracting creations of the viewer's imagination. Richer imaginations lead to more absorption, and more extreme imaginations cause more dangerous ideas to be absorbed. This is an excerpt from researcher Lex McNeil's thesis. However, the thesis is currently under peer review. SCP-056-KO is thought to have the ability to partially realize what imagination it absorbed. Thanks to prior research, links between the entity and individual cases of large-scale accidents, natural disasters, and sensational events have been confirmed, but how much influence the entity has on mundane crimes or usual social problems is unclear. The most widely accepted theory is that the entity has a physical form. Some researchers even claim that the entity is a hive mind moving to fit a specific purpose. On the other hand, some claim that it is merely a series of events and that it is unnecessary to explain it as an entity, but rather it is pattern misrecognized. Additional Content of SkipNet Security Breach How SCP-056-KO noticed SkipNet and disrupted the security system is disputed. Researcher McNeil commented on this matter. My main concern is the possibility that someone imagined a fictional organization like the Foundation, and the database storing it was attacked. SCP-056-KO grasped our image, used it to bypass all security measures, leaping straight onto our database. If we succeed in explaining the mechanism, I think we would have clues to how SCP-056-KO builds its influence. As the SkipNet security breach incident poses a significant threat to the entity's containment, the proposal to pinpoint the Foundation database, the SkipNet itself, as the center of containment has been accepted. As such, SCP-056-KO was reclassified to Keter, a scenario in which the Foundation's various censorship activities amplifies the imagination of personnel, ultimately leading to the end of the world due to SCP-056-KO's activities, has been proposed. Addendum Operation Apoptosis Report 
November 14, 2008 MTF Yota 100 A Better World Operation Apatosis First Operation Report Plan A Goal Expose specially designated personnel to SCP 056 KO, weakening its catastrophic anomaly to the level of safe class entities or anomalous objects. Contents A specially picked D class personnel was trained for a year, boosting his imagination and forcing him to imagine a preset scenario compulsively. Conditioning of induced obsessive compulsive disorder was possible. The preset scenario included events such as SCP-056-KO's expansion stopping, its departure from SkipNet, complete management of previously affected websites by the Foundation, and Foundation researchers throwing an outdoor party with chance of joy. D-10054 successfully finished the one-year-long training. He then proceeded to obsessively and compulsively imagine a scenario, dosed with high amounts of tranquilizing agents and other neuroactive drugs. Result, D-10054 was successfully exposed to SCP-056-KO's SkipNet page. However, the expected result did not happen. After a week of laborious search, the Foundation found out that who detained and violently raped his younger cousin for three months, was arrested by the local law enforcement. The victim was stoned to death by our relatives as honor killing. Research of D-10054's past actions revealed that D-10054, imprisoned initially as a political prisoner, exerted sexual desires towards his younger cousin's sister. The relevance between this incident and this operation is disputed. There is a possibility that the scenario D-10054 thought of in the past might have been true. Analysis. Regardless of this operation's aftermath, the first operation did not bear any expected results. Second Operation Report Plan B Goal Expose specially designated personnel to SCP-056-KO, weakening its catastrophic anomaly to the level of safe class entities or anomalous objects. Contents: Nine children, aged four to six, eight times more than needed, of Foundation employees with security rank two or lower, were taken without the parents' consent. The Foundation Cognitive Development Research Facility interviewed them, ordered them by vividness of imagination, and took the first. The child is then exposed to a similar scenario to Plan A, in which SCP-056-KO was explained as comical and childish as possible inducing mental or emotional trauma to aid the process was unnecessary, but stabilizers could have been administered within an acceptable range of side effects when needed. Results. Loss of classified information assets, amounting over and 36 anomalous objects, no expected results reported in any way. Analysis. The execution of Plan B caused a tremendous loss of Foundation assets. Rediscussing any severe damage it caused in its rampage is deemed unnecessary. It was hilarious to see it sliding down a rainbow to Site 122 parking lot and eat cotton candy, but I would like to emphasize the comedy ended there. Plan Apatosis failed. Amendments have exposed limitations necessary for further operations. Dispatch Log 056-KO-3 Dispatch Date June 4, 2010 Personnel, Agent Kang, and two other agents of the Information Monitoring Team. Coordinates, Longitude, Latitude, Contents. A Level 3 warning, Sirius, was issued during a Foundation web page monitoring. Three agents hiding their identities were dispatched and captured an amateur novelist named 20 years old, a Jiang Sang Si. Jung Sang Buk Do. The team confirmed a record of the novelist accessing a page affected by SCP 056 KO. The team conducted a brief interrogation of the novelist and was given a copy of a freshly written chapter of a novel. The novelist didn't seem to have been directly exposed to any SCP entities. C class amnestics were administered, and the novelist was released with caution. Attached below are the title and the novel of the chat. 
Attached below are the title of the novel and chapter. The interrogation log is stored in the Foundation Audio-Visual Archives. The Foundation is waiting for the results of a computer simulation based on the anomaly of SCP-056-KO as to what kind of catastrophe the imagination will bring to the world. Title, Super Nature Chasers of Pontius Chapter 26 The Last Mission of SCP 